Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chapter 1 Quadratic Functions and Equations in One Variable. In this chapter, you will learn 1.1 Quadratic Functions and Equations. First, we go to 1.1 quadratic functions and equations. The name quadratic comes from quad, meaning square, because the variable gets squared. Quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c. Quadratic equation A quadratic equation in one variable is an equation whereby the equation has only one variable, for example x, and the highest power, for the variable, is 2, for example x squared. The general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b and c are constants, and a cannot be 0, while x is the variable or unknown. For instance, in 5x squared plus 3x plus 3 equals 0, the power of 2 in x squared makes it quadratic. Example, determine whether each of the following is a quadratic expression in one variable. a, 2x squared plus 5 b, x cubed minus 6 c, 3x squared plus 2y plus 1 d, half m to the power of 2 e, 2x squared minus 3 over x squared f, 4x squared minus x to the power of half Solution a, yes, it is a quadratic expression b, no because the highest power of the variable is 3. C no. Because there are two variables, x and y. D yes, it is a quadratic expression. E no. Because there is a variable with a power which is not a whole number. F no. Because there is a variable with a power which is not a whole number. Quadratic function A quadratic function is one of the form fx equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are numbers, with a not equal to zero. All quadratic functions have the same image for two different objects. The type of relation of a quadratic function is a many-to-one relation. Shape of the graph of a quadratic function The shape of the graph is parabola. Parabolas have a shape that resembles the letter U. Maximum and minimum point of a quadratic function The bottom or top of the U is called the vertex, turning point, or stationary point. The vertex of a parabola, opening upward, is also called the minimum point, if a greater than zero. The vertex of a parabola opening downward is also called the maximum point, if a less than zero. Finding maximum and minimum points. In order to find out the x value of vertex, we add up the two roots and divide by two. And to find out the y value of vertex, we substitute the x value into the function. For instance, consider the graph y equals x squared minus 4x. The x value of vertex equals 4 plus 0 divided by 2 equals 2. While the y value of vertex equals x squared minus 4x equals 2 squared minus 4 times 2 equals negative 4. Axis of symmetry of the graph of a quadratic function. This line of axis of symmetry of parabola is symmetric, a mirror image 
about a vertical line drawn through its vertex turning point. The effects of changing the values of a on graphs of quadratic functions. The value of a determines the shape of the graph. If a is greater than zero, then the graph opens upward. If a is less than zero, then the graph opens downward. The larger values of a, the narrower the graph. The smaller values of a, the wider the graph. Example, state the range of values of p. Explain your answer. Solution Since the curve of the graph gx opens upwards, so p greater than 0. The curve of the graph gx is wider than fx, thus p less than 3. Therefore, the range of values of p is, p is greater than 0, but less than 3. The effects of changing the values of b on graphs of quadratic functions the value of B determines the position of the axis of symmetry. If A is more than zero, B more than zero, then the axis of symmetry lies on the left of the Y axis. B less than zero, then the axis of symmetry lies on the right of the Y axis. B equals zero, then the axis of symmetry is the Y axis. If A is less than zero, B more than zero, then the axis of symmetry lies on the right of the y-axis. B less than zero, then the axis of symmetry lies on the left of the y-axis. B equals zero, then the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. Effects of changing the values of C on graphs of quadratic functions. The value of C determines the position of the y-intercept. Example, the quadratic function fx equals x squared minus 3x plus c passes through point a, negative 1, 3. Find the value of c. Solution, substitute the values of x equals negative 1 and fx equals 3 into the quadratic function. 3 equals negative 1 squared minus 3 times negative 1 plus c, c equals 1 plus 3 plus c, c equals 4 plus c, c equals 3 minus 4, c equals negative 1. Roots of a quadratic function The roots of the quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, are the points of intersection, of the graph, and the x-axis, x-intercepts. It can have a maximum of two roots. The graph never touched the x-axis is called imaginary roots. The graph touch one point in the x-axis is called one real root. The graph touch two points in the x-axis is called two real roots. Example B, determine whether the values are roots of the quadratic equation. 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0, whereby the values are x equals 1 and x equals 3. Solution, when x equals 1, on the left hand side, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3, substitute 1 into x, equals 2 1 squared, minus 7 1 plus 3, equals 2 minus 7 plus 3, equals negative 2, while the right-hand side is 0. Since the left-hand side value and right-hand side value are not the same. Thus, x equals 1 is not a root of the quadratic equation, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. When x equals 3, on the left-hand side, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 Substitute 3 into x, equals 2 3 squared minus 7 3 plus 3, equals 18 minus 21 plus 3, equals 0, while the right-hand side is, 0. 
since the left-hand side value and right-hand side value are the same. Thus, x equals 3 is a root of the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. Determine the roots of a quadratic equation. There are four methods which are 1. Factorization, when possible 2. Quadratic formula 3. Completing the square 4. Graphing, used to find only real roots But in here, we will only learn the factorization method and the graphing method In factorization method, the steps are as follows 1. Express the equation, in the form at x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. 2. Factor the left hand side, if 0 is on the right. 3. Set each of the two factors, equal to 0. 4. Solve for x, to determine the roots. Example, determine the roots, of the following quadratic equations, by factorization method. Solution A 4x squared minus 28x equals 0. This is an example of factoring with greatest common factor. First, find the largest value, which can be factored from each term, on the left side of the quadratic equation. In this case, the largest value is 4x. Thus, 4x times x minus 7 equals 0. 4x equals 0 or x minus 7 equals 0, x equals 0 or x equals 7. Therefore, the roots are 0 and 7. In example B, x squared minus 81 equals 0. This is an example of factoring difference of two squares. Thus, x plus 9 times x minus 9 equals 0 x plus 9 equals 0 or x minus 9 equals 0 x equals negative 9 or x equals 9 therefore the roots are negative 9 and 9 in example c x squared plus 2 x minus 15 equals 0 this is an example of factoring three terms with leading coefficient of 1 thus x plus 5 times x minus 3 equals 0 x plus 5 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0 x equals negative 5 or x equals 3 therefore the roots are negative 5 and 3 in example d 3x squared plus 11 x minus 4 equals 0 this is an example of factoring three terms with leading coefficient which is not 1. Thus, 3x minus 1 times x plus 4 equals 0. 3x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 4 equals 0. x equals 1 third or x equals negative 4. Therefore, the roots are 1 third and negative 4. In example e, 2x times x plus 4 equals x minus 3. In this example, we will convert the equation into the form at x squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then solve for the value of x. 2x squared plus 8x equals x minus 3. 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 equals 0. Thus, 2x plus 1 times x plus 3 equals 0, 2x plus 1 equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. x equals negative half, or x equals 3. Therefore, the roots are negative half, and 3. In example f, which deals with the proportions. x plus 1, divide by 2 equals, x plus 4, divide by, x minus 2. Do the cross multiplication, follows by converting the equation, into ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. 2x plus 4, equals x plus 1, times x minus 2. 
2x plus 8 equals x squared minus x minus 2. x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. x minus 5 times x plus 2 equals 0. x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. x equals 5 or x equals negative 2. Therefore, the roots are 5 and negative 2. Determine the roots of a quadratic equation, by the graphical method. Read the values of x, which are the points of intersection of the graph, and the x-axis. For instance, the roots are negative 1, and 3 in this diagram. Example A. For the graph of quadratic equation, 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 equals 0, Mark and state the roots of the given quadratic equation. The roots are negative 4 and 1.5. Sketch the graph of quadratic function. The following characteristics should be shown on the graph. 1. The correct shape of the graph. 2. Y-intercept. 3. X-intercept or one point that passes through the graph. Example, sketch the graphs of the quadratic functions. A, fx equals x squared, minus 4x plus 3. B, fx equals negative 2x squared, plus 18. Solution, A, fx equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. Value of a equals 1, a greater than 0, thus the curve opens upwards. Value of c equals 3, thus y intercept equals 3. When fx equals 0, x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0, factories it and become x minus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0 x minus 3 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0, thus x equals 3 or x equals 1. Now, we can based on the information to sketch the graph. Solution B, fx equals negative 2x squared plus 18. Value of A equals negative 2, A less than 0. Thus the curve opens downwards. Value of B equals 0, thus, axis of symmetry is the y-axis. Value of C equals 18, thus y-intercept equals 18. When fx equals 0, negative 2x squared plus 18 equals 0. Simplify by dividing all the terms with negative 2, become x squared minus 9 equals 0. Factories it and become x plus 3 times x minus 3 equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0, thus x equals negative 3 or x equals 3. Now, we can based on the information to sketch the graph. The concept map of quadratic functions and equations in one variable is as follow. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below. Thanks for watching.